Hello friends, once again welcome back to our channel. This video regarding JNK Jammu and Kashmir, a government has launched a national generic document registration system as you can uh, see on the screen the snapshot of the website and this is for uh, government of India, Department of Land Resources. So what are the things you can do here? I will just show you three things mainly. One is how to make a citizenship login ID uh, for the NGDRS. Uh, national generic document registration system for Jammu and Kashmir online how to create a user credential citizen ID and after that I'll just show you how to see you can check the land values of different parts of Jammu and Kashmir online uh, in fact a property valuation I will just show you the same thing it is for uh, urban as well as in rural area and also we will see how to register uh, a property it is like a pre-registration online you can give all your property details everything online and then you can book a slot so that uh, the property uh, seller as well as the buyer can visit on the time slot there and the property registration process will be smooth so that uh, most of the part you are uh, going to upload and do online itself. So let us see all these things quickly step by step. The registration process is something like a bigger process. I will not take you much time through all the process steps. We will see on the, only the main uh, steps after that you can proceed with. So let us quickly start. So what you can do here is friends just open a google search page and in that you have to give NGDRS JK and this is the website it is uh, recently launched and you can see ngdrs.jk.gov.in is the website. You click there it will take you to the portal. Uh, portal is just launched and it takes some time to uh, bug fixes and stuff but still it is good to go. First time you have to click on the register button for citizen ID registration. I will just show you how to get a uh, citizenship ID. What you can do is you can click on the register button so that online we are going to do a citizen registration. You select the option select type as uh, first Indian and then citizen you can select and after that give your contact person name and fill in your address in uh, JNK or in India wherever and after that these are the main fields you have to select the uh, state here as Jammu and Kashmir so if you are selecting any other state uh, the district and tehsil will not be visible will not be active as of now I don't know whether they'll fix it but now as of now as you can see here I selected Jammu and Kashmir and the district is available Jammu and other uh, districts are available here but for example suppose I select Jharkhand as the state as you can see the district is not active uh, I'm not sure uh, they will be fixing it so I just selected other uh, two states and tried it didn't work so uh, as of now it works for Jammu and Kashmir state itself and uh, district you have to select accordingly and after this uh, the ID details you have to give your email ID and mobile number as well as uh, select your ID proof ID proof can be any of this employee ID card also will work other you can select if nothing is there pan card is the one of the options and give your ID proof number in this case pan card number and Aadhaar card you get an error like this enter valid 12 digit Aadhaar card if you are not giving uh, an Aadhaar card based on JK so if you give the correct Aadhaar name it will work and after that enter a username here this is the username I circled and the password also you have to give and after that captcha you have to enter and there is a security question this is like you forgot the password how to recover it select the question and give your answer here and click on the submit button so this process is fast as you can see it's not much hindrance is there registration is successful so you got a citizenship id citizen id for logging in in this website and as you can see scroll down and enter your username which you have just now registered and the password and after that here it is a little bit tricky you have to enter the captcha and click on get otp uh, I didn't find any OTP coming in my mobile but automatically this number appeared here and you can click on login button. So as of now OTP is not integrated but it will work. And left side three line icon button you can see this is the option you are going to select here. And after that what are the options available now. This is the valuation option where you can evaluate or evaluate the property anywhere in JK. So let us uh, quickly see how can we property valuation can be done online. Click on the property valuation button here. 
and once uh, the page loads you have to select the property financial year first which financial year looking for the property valuation i am selecting the current one and after that select uh, the uh, district as jammu or kashmir whatever uh, available in the option and then rural or urban you have to select area type after that select your tehsil out of this whatever tehsil you are falling into and after that local government body so all these are drop down menus you can drop down and select your if it is urban automatically it comes as jammu municipal corporation if you select rural i will just show you the other areas appear here so this is uh, just a sample i am showing you can select your uh, interested property uh, accordingly and evaluate so let me select some sample option here and I, I randomly select a random village and you can see here once you select revenue village the last option is uh, selecting revenue village I selected that and once all the things are ready there is a uh, view rate button here as you can see click on the view rate button and it loads for some time and as you can see the property details valuation details are loaded here you can see here which village left side and what kind of property residential and what is the rate and the unit also given this is commercial and this is the rate so unit is given in canal or in square meters as you can see right side some places square meters are given so this way you can evaluate your property in JNK and you can see how much almost it costs this is the government rate and also I will quickly show you another option of uh, how to uh, do the same with uh, a uh, not an urban area this time we will try uh, uh, we can try a rural area so I just wanted to quickly show you uh, that uh, rural areas are also covered here and as you can see the rural area when you select all the areas under uh, appear the district you have selected and you can also select other things like revenue village and stuff and your tehsil and other stuffs after selecting the same procedure you are going to apply here you are going to uh, click on the view button here view rate button here okay as you can see uh, after selecting everything click on the view rate and even in rural area what is the rate as per government nominates you can see here see complete uh, commercial as well as residential and integrated other lands are shown here so this is how you can uh, check the evaluation of a property you can close the button on top right or bottom also there is a close now let us see another quick option this is a little bit bigger option but i will not take you through every options but this is kind of a document entry so click on the document entry button this what we are going to discuss here is how uh, for registration uh, registering a property what are the steps click on the document entry again there are payment status also but click on the document entry and you can see here if you have entered any document it would have appeared here we have not done so this is a new document entry so uh, this is the way you are going to do a land registration this is a pre-registration process after this you have to visit the office once with this acknowledgement you can see what are the things you have to do a lot of things are there uh, general info you have to fill party witness identifier free cal uh, fees calculation and uh, pre-registration summary upload the document data submission after everything book an appointment uh, with the registration office and go there with these details and it will be done quickly and uh, they say clearly English data entry is compulsory because there is no other options to enter only English will work here and after that you can select your uh, local language and you can start proceeding total number of pages so this is property pre-registration uh, appointment taking I have clearly explained so a lot of process to fill in uh, online so that what are see you can uh, enter or any of this property you can do a mortgage deed or you can do a trust or you can uh, transfer a property it's kind of an uh, even lease renting also there and you can see general power of attorney uh, so all the kind of property transaction can be done online here and this is a pre-registration requirement online for example you wanted to take a power of attorney just select the general power of attorney and after that under that two options are there whether blood relation or not all these options accordingly you can select and document executed in India in outside India or in court also options are available so 
you should know what are the uh, things you are going to do and what are the document you are going to register accordingly you can give all the register uh, even an advocate is there you can give advocate name and details so you should have basically some technical knowledge for this if you do not have please contact the person who has or maybe some advocate so that even they can do online in front of you along with you okay so you have to select the document submission office details after and as you can see register uh, register office also will come once you select the district and tehsil and in in case of uh, there is only one sro jammu north in this case example so as you can see i have done first part general info and after that you have to do property details i'm not going to everything because this will be a very big video it will take a lot of time so once you complete first step you got a registration number you can see here and after that scroll down complete all the other uh, things asked one by one okay if you do not know i repeat it uh, visit a lawyer or concerned person and with his help you can get it online itself in front of you and after that you select the property this page is basically where is the property you are going to register belong to the second tab what we are going now so property valuation basically you can do uh, we have already uh, seen how to do a property valuation but this is almost the same page where you do a property valuation and stuff and once you do this thing you can see uh, you can view rate i have already shown you i'm not going to take you uh, your time on this and let us assume you have done everything here and bottom of the page you can see property attributes land records data fetching so here what you have to do is you have to select the property type okay by uh, for example if you are registering a plot or flat you can select that option and its value comes here you can enter the keyword number and click on check property so this property is not prohibited property so this is also covered if the property you are trying to register is a prohibited some problem is there that will also be shown here so that that is why this is a secure method if you go online but only thing is that you should know all these details uh, c party witness everything has to be filled and the final one is the appointment here as you can see uh, after taking the appointment you have to visit in person along with the concerned people and it will be this will be only the slot booking online and after this visit there and after visiting you can do in front of the registrar the same day itself the registration and it will not take much time thank you very much for watching the video please let us know your queries uh, please subscribe to our channel give us a like if you like this video thank you very much viewers see you with another video